Have you ever had an idea for a stra trading strategy that you wanted to test out? Well, there's a few ways to do that. My f one of the best ways to do it is through tradingview.com. It has really good, uh, it's very powerful, very, uh, very good scripting language. However, it usually involves learning to code. So over on TradingView, when you go to a chart, you can add these indicators called strategies, which will backtest for you. And the point of this is if you buy a stock, you can see over here under buy and hold. If you just buy the stock at one point and hold on to it, thinking that it's going to go up, you can make 33% on the stock, which is great. But if you sell every time the price goes down and then buy again when it's about to come back up, you can make a lot more money, obviously. And so if you, have, if you have a strategy that can tell you when to buy and sell, you can test it out here and you can see this net profit up here. I actually made a 1,300% a profit rather than a 33% profit. So it's massively better to do the strategy than to just hold. Now, this could be for a bunch of reasons that you know we can get into, but what's important is that this is able to test whatever strategy we come up with. So how do we get one? Um, there's two ways. First is you go to the Pine Script Editor and you can type in your code here. So that requires you to learn how to code and they do make it really easy for you. I believe you can click on over here for the documentation, the reference, learn how to do the code, no big deal. Uh, you can also start off with somebody else's code. So you click on indicators up here and you click type in maybe strategy and you see these that have the down and up arrows. Those are the trading strategies. When you click on them, what's going to happen is it's going to apply buy and sell rules and you can see the red and green are telling you to either buy or sell the stock or go long or short. And then down here you see the performance. Now obviously there's something wrong here. So you want to click on the cog go to properties and make sure you're doing 100% of equity and that's going to give you a much more accurate number. So you can see it's overall not a really great strategy. You lose 61% when buying and holding you would just gain 33%. So maybe this needs to be optimized. And what you can do is you can click on the source code whenever you add your strategy and that'll let, that will let you see the source code you can um, make a copy of it and then you can edit that code to however you want so rather than learning this coding from the beginning you can just read into it and then make some changes if you think it should actually sell instead of buying whenever it's uh, alert is signaled you can try that save it and add it to your chart but that's not entirely necessary as long as you uh, add the user's, um, add somebody else's code, you can always go to the settings on their inputs. They oftentimes let you change the parameters. Uh, for example, the if it's selling every time it goes above the average, you can change you know, the speed of the average. You can make it a five day average rather than a 200 day average. And so you can make some modifications like that. So what I did, I found, a, a scripter who I like. His name is uh, Quaint Nomad. And I use his strategies because he's very, uh, very good. Lots of, uh, lots of posted strategies. They're all public and they're all open source. And he also is very good at avoiding something called repainting. Uh, that you can look into that. Um, what that means is that your strategy is not actually telling you the truth. So it's using some future information to calculate the, the strategy. Uh, there's a few ways to avoid that. I'm not gonna go into it. Uh, just Google the TradingView repainting issues. So let's say you have some ideas that you can't find any of the code for so you want to do some MACD RSI strategy and you can't find the right code, nobody's doing it the right way and you don't want to learn how to code. Or more importantly, you want to
play with options because this uh, trading view will only let you adjust how many stocks you want to buy or sell. It will not allow you to play with options because that's too complex. For that, we have a solution called optionstack.net. Now this website lets you code without knowing any of the code. You can see it's just dragging and dropping blocks. So you can come up with your own custom strategy. You don't need to learn how to code or use somebody else's. Now, the way this works is you can click on one of these and then modify it, or you can start from scratch. So let's say we want to do a covered call. So what this says is it's going to um, use the SPY. This is whatever stock you want to choose. You can look at Tesla if you want. Okay, so whenever... Um, Okay, so let's say we, we want whenever the Bollinger Bands are, uh, whenever the 10 period Bollinger Bands are less than 20. Whatever strategy you wanna come up with, this is your condition. Whenever this happens, it's gonna do something. So when this happens, do, uh, this loop, which is to sell puts, sell four puts, you can only uh, run this once, or you can do it multiple times, sell four puts with the expiration of a year or more, and at least one, or negative one strike away from the underlying. So. If the price of Tesla is 500 and the next strike is uh, 450, you can do a negative one, which is gonna get the 450. And then if there's multiple that match the criteria, it's going to select the one with the maximum risk or reward. Okay. And then there's just some plotting stuff, which a lot of it comes default. It lets you monitor the progress. So when we press build, okay. So you can see down here, the yellow line is our account and the blue line is the um, SPY, the baseline. So you can see we're making a uh, large amount of money more than with, without doing this trade. So it looks like it's working by using the build strategy. So what we want to do is more of a full back test. So we're going to click run back test and that's going to run on a much longer period. So you're going to see the months on the bottom. This is October, November, December. And throughout that time, it's just been doing better and better until um, I guess this is March during the coronavirus when everything crashed. And even then it didn't go much further, much uh, below where it was before. And then it, went right back up. So I would consider this a successful strategy, uh, trading Tesla whenever the uh, Bollinger is above 20. It looks like it's a very successful strategy and what you can even do. Okay, another thing you can do is whenever you meet a certain criteria, you can go ahead and exit the trade. So for example, whenever you uh, make 50% profit or lose 50% or if for in this example, if the MACD goes above the signal, you can uh, sell it there. So you can do another loop like that and you're going to tell it to close the, uh, the strategy that you have up here and you can leave a comment. So let's go ahead and run that. So now every time the Bollinger Band is above it, we're going to open, but then every time the MACD uh, goes above the signal, it's gonna close it. So when we go to transactions, you're gonna see it opens it first and then it closed it. Um, it closed it uh, a few days, a uh, month later uh, because the MACD rose above it. And then we opened it, closed it, and they're not expiring any longer. That's because we're closing it every time the MACD is above. So you can come up with that, whatever strategies you want. This is just to show you how it works. Um, and of course they have their own, so you can just start with these, uh, tweak them and play with it. And again, 
build strategy has no quota so you can keep using this until you feel confident and do the comparisons and then you can run the full back test and that's going to stretch it out to you know the full year